in the area, mostly due to burn scars from the Telegraph fire. News 4 Tucson meteorologist Daniel McFarland joining us live from the impacted area with more. And Daniel, certainly a massive cleanup today. It certainly is Priscilla and everyone across the areas here is working together to get this cleanup going. If you can look behind me, there's plenty of people out there. That's a huge pile of dirt actually behind me as well. That they've taken out from in front of the homes. So now I did talk to a couple families in this neighborhood that were affected by that flooding. Look at like an ocean wave real all the way up there, you know, and I'll tell you what, I never saw anything like this. The Telegraph fire caused a lot of burn scars in the surrounding mountains. The burn scar combined with heavy rain turned into a mud flow headed straight into town, impacting people's homes like Paul. So you can see the water coming down and over, overflowed the, uh, the creek bed over here. Further down the creek bed, a woman named Susan Tenna has had her house for 70 years. After the flood started near the creek, her son came to get her out. My brother, you know, got her out of the house and got her out of this location as the water was coming up over this uh, cement wall right here. Susan was not okay with just leaving and wanted to make sure the neighborhood kids got out too. I went around to the houses because I worried about the kids in the houses and I got them all out. I told them to get out. The water was coming over. And they did, they got out. Both Paul and Susan say this is the worst flooding they had ever seen in this area, both knowing it will take time to return to normal. A lot of memories, a lot of, a lot of devastation that we got to just pick up and move forward. And, but we're going to do it together. Um, like I said, our community is amazing. So it's going to be okay. And there's a whole lot of activity on this street. The street I'm on right now is actually the one Paul lives on. There's been lots of trucks going up and down, carrying mud to get it out of the neighborhood. And this area has seen about four and a half inches of rain. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring in Chief Meteorologist Matt Brode. A lot of rain here, and we've coming up to one of the wettest Julys in history that we've had throughout the state of Arizona, right, Matt? That's right, Daniel. And in fact, we can up that in the city of Tucson itself. We actually have seen.